Good morning, Swift Safety Institute. This video is going to be a quick video on how to use the Enrollware software that we're using for our scheduling. So we're not, if you're an older instructor, we are not using Homebase for scheduling anymore. Uh, we are using Enrollware. The only thing we're using Homebase for is if you need to request time off. So the Enrollware, once you get logged in, if you, um, your screen will have all of your classes in it. If you are having trouble getting logged in, please let us know and we will reset your password and hopefully we can get you in and going. So when you log in, all of your classes are going to be showing up. And so you can see what days, the class ID numbers, and what times. If you want to look at a specific class, you're going to click on the little box on the right that says Edit. And so I'll click on this one. Here it's telling me this is a Red Cross community class. It has the class ID, which is the number that you need when you are going to send in your timesheet to Swift. It is telling us um, I have a co-instructor with this one. I have Anna teaching with me. It gives me the date. It gives me the time of the class. This is a babysitting class. So it tells me we can have 10 students in class. It also gives me the pay for the class. It tells us that we're at a two to one mannequin to student ratio. And here I am listed as the second instructor in that class. Then uh, if you go down to internal notes, this is where you're gonna find all the information for that class. Um, this CAR 201, that is the code that Red Cross uses for babysitting classes. They have different codes for the different types of classes. I just happen to know that this one is a babysitting class. Again, it's got that job number that I'm going to need. It's telling me the location and what classroom I'm going to be in. And it gives me the address. Um, if there were any other notes with the class, um, they may be listed up here in public notes. So sometimes you want to take a look there to see if there's any other notes that you need. Now, we are not using this for any rosters or anything like that. So don't put your roster in here. Don't put your students in here. Just make sure that you're doing that the same way with that timesheet and the timesheet link like we've always been doing. We are just using Enrollware just for the scheduling of classes. Um, if I scroll down farther on the page, it has comments. So Angel and Britt put some comments in. It's got the facility ID. There is no lockbox or alarm code. Um, and if you need a facility guide, reach out to Pat. Um, I just happen to know, because this is my home chapter, I happen to know that you have to have a key card to get in this one, which I do. So, But if you need a facility guide, you would reach out. Just make sure that you're looking at those comments. That'll have any other information there that you might need. And also be looking at those internal notes. That's going to be the other important place that you want to be watching for. Now, over here on the left, uh, if you need to look in any of your past classes, you just click on the past classes and that is going to bring you up all the classes that you have taught if you need to go back and look at something. Now, if you want to bid on a class, it's not really bidding, it's just saying, hey, I'm available to teach this class. If you click on instructor bidding, this is gonna bring you up all of the classes that currently need instructors for them. And the nice thing with this is it actually gives you the state that it's in. Homebase didn't do that as easily, and so this is gonna give you the state. So you can scroll down to find your state, find one that you wanna look for, that you would wanna teach. When you find one that you would wanna teach, you would click the little box that's next to it and that's going to send a message to Swift and then we will get you on that class. Again, please remember, do not um, bid on classes that are over two hours. Um, if you need travel pay for it, 
that's something, uh, reach out to scheduling and have a talk with them saying, hey, I see this class is out there. I can do it, but it's three hours away. Can I get travel pay? And then they will go through the channels that they need. If they have another instructor that's close, they're going to assign that one. Um, but just know if it's within the two hours, please feel free to bid on it and we will get you assigned to that. And really, that is, is pretty much as simple as Enrollware is. If you click on the My Account, that's going to have all of your information in there. Um, it'll have password information, but it's just got your basic information with your address and all that good, good information. So hopefully this has helped you. Enrollware is pretty simple to use. Just make sure you're not updating any class information in there. We are going to have that uh, for our schedulers to be updating. So you can just look and find your classes and you can find out uh, where it's at and how much the pay is for the class and any notes that are associated with it. If there is a point of contact, they will list that point of contact in those notes. If for some reason you get a flat tire on the way to class, something like that happens. So have a great day. Thank you for being with Swift Safety Institute.